In the business of safe and effective pesticide application, we must always be conscious of the weather and ask questions appropriate to its consideration. What does the label state about timing of rain or irrigation? Products differ in their rain fastness. Does the label state anything about optimal application conditions such as temperature and cloud cover? For example, to achieve weed control, weeds must be actively growing, so if weather conditions cause the weed to shut down, you won't get effective weed control. How fast is the wind blowing, and in what direction is the wind blowing? Is the wind blowing towards susceptible sites? If off-target drift were to occur, what could be impacted? Some labels, or even local and state governments, have mandatory setbacks and no spray buffers around sensitive sites. It is important to remember that the pesticide label only details the federal regulations, not state or local restrictions. You may find it optimum to keep up to date on your local and state regulations by consulting your state lead agency or Department of Agriculture and Commerce. Pesticide labels have volumes of important information, including specifics about equipment. You may recall from our review of Chapter 2, Federal Pesticide Law, that any method of application can be used to apply a product with the exception of chemigation. But if a label specifically prohibits a method, you cannot use that method under any circumstances. Some labels state how much spray volume is required. This is based on the need to apply a specific amount of active ingredient for coverage in order to control the target pest or to reduce drift potential.